Hey, how goes it? Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's just get right into this. The more I wonder. What do you wonder, dealer? He's not gonna tell me. Alright, what are we going up against now? The Jack of Scales, that's right, we got lizard people coming. This will be fun. We have Mana Drain, so we have worse cooldowns. Last man standing, um, in every combat, uh, the last enemy alive is no longer stun interrupted. That's fine. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Mm hmm. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle, and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. They are pretty cool. I'm interested to see them, like, in combat. I don't care about your fucking builder thing. Let's look and see what we got. Well, I like this because it's going to do more damage to them. Uh, we're still going to leave this in and this in. Uh, what other options for weapons do we have? Anything neat? We have this thing. Of course, we have no idea what it does. I'll put that in and I'll remove a normal sword. Uh, we've got three shields. It's good. No new armor, really, other than... Well, no new body armor. We've got this. Um, get rid of these fleet cuffs. Let's throw that in. It's probably horrible. We'll find out. Just something called Fate's Folly makes me think it's just going to be there to fucking kill us. Um, let's get rid of the Ring of Poverty. I'm not a fan. Put the Ring of Justice in. Uh, and now, let's see, we can go Feather Dice. Um, what do we need more of? I guess more weapons can't hurt. How much do these do? 25. 23. 27. We'll put a couple maces in, because why not? Actually, we'll put one mace... Uh, what did angel wings do? Just movement speed. Uh, explorer's cap, I don't know. We don't have a lot of arm things, so we might as well put the fleet cuffs back in. In fact, that's the only arm thing we currently have, isn't it? Alright, well that's fine. Uh, new events. Oh, we have lots of stuff. Alright, uh, devil's carnival we didn't really finish. Do we do the Devil's Wager? What was this again? Um, yeah, we had to beat it with, um, like, no health. So we'll take that out. Wife Sherry, we did that, right? Yeah, we'll take that out. Um, what does this do? Noble Trader, we need to play with more. We gotta get rid of these rats eventually. Let's just take Mr. Lionel out. That's fine. Alright, new stuff. What do we got? Uh, Heroes Remains, The Lover, Strange Shadow, Lone, Tavern Wager, Lost in the Desert. I'm interested in these Goblin King ones, so we're gonna try that. Uh, old Graveyard sounds interesting. We'll do a sleep in an inn. Stranger in the Shadow? Sure, that sounds cool. Alright, that'll do. We're gonna start Jack of Scales. This will be fun. One of my symbols. Mm -hmm. But now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. Well, you better beat my ass then. That's a cool looking scepter, I'll have to give you that. Man, we got some opposition stakes. going up. I have saved the lizardmen for now, but the stakes have been raised. Mm -hmm. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Alright, fair enough. Let's do this. I guess there's a weapon that I'm going to be able to use against you. Glint of a weapon at the bottom. We will climb down and retrieve the weapon. Choose from these options. Okay. 
Carefully climb down, get an equipment card. A mace. Replace my axe? Sure. Are you sure that's the right approach? It can't hurt, it's a straight damage upgrade. Maybe a little slower. Uh, Ember Town Hero. Didn't I already do this? I probably forgot to take it out. Uh, we'll do it again. We got some good stuff last time. We'll ask him of his troubles. Tells us there are thieves in Ember Town. Uh, if we have honor, we'll attack the jackals. Okay, well now we know where Ember Town is. And the maiden, right off the bat. Well, she can hand us some gold, I suppose. I would ask for gold. Uh, same thing that she always tells us. But we could use it early on. You are grateful for that. I am. That as well. Alright, 315s. Can't complain. Alright, farewell. Uh, we're gonna go to Ember Town, because I think we get something for this. I like nothing more I'm gonna than chase the these guys the down. Handle yourself in these circumstances. Now he's gonna share the spoils with us. We haven't tried that yet, and I'm tempted to. Sure, let's see what happens. Oh, huge success is right there. Ah, damn, failure. Uh, let's see, we approach them. One pain card and one monster. That's annoying. Wow, 15 of our max health. Alright, I'm gonna murder some of these guys. Well, damn. I didn't know that there would be that much of a gamble. I assumed that, uh... Taking them on the word for a moment would be like the... You don't have to fight anything, but you're a dick move. Alright, well... Let's see how this plan works out for them. No, bald guy goes first. There, he's dead. Jeez, come on. The sky and his unblockable moves. There, he's dead. I was gonna roll anyways, but it's good. Mount Lay made mistakes. That was a really bad ping card, though. That could really hurt us in this. Alright. Uh, get two gain cards and equipment. Survival ring. Eh, that's better than nothing. And three food. Sure. It's worth my trouble to come over this way, I guess. And we go out the cave to the next area. Cool. I'm just skipping through all the cards that we've seen before as quickly as I can because I it does take a while to play. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. Thank you. A dock is worth nothing until it sails. True. What do we got? Ooh, all right. Again, a token is at stake. All right. Great news, Mr. Uh, Lionel declares, excitedly bursting from the back of a wagon as he passes you um, uh, along a well-charted uh, path, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, one of the king's sons has decided to challenge the old fool for his position as ruler of our people. Under goblin law, he, is l or he can legally take his father's place if he can beat him in single combat. Okay. But the king, crafty slug that he is, has hidden the crown in the treasure vaults. Without the crown, the leadership cannot be resolved. Uh, there must be chaos in the capital. Uh, let's ask about the capital. Hmm? Oh, Goblin Town is hidden away in an enormous cavern under one of the human cities. You wouldn't believe which one, even if I told you. It's full of thieves, you know... No point visiting unless you have business with the king or his family. Anyway, the point is that the crown is one of the tre or is one of the treasure vaults. If we can find it, then we can use the blackmail the king into letting me letting me back into the city. Fair enough. Uh, let's go find another vault, I guess. Wait, uh, your quest for the crown out the way. Okay, yeah, we'll go to a thing. Uh, that's a spirit. Lionel says. Uh, gleefully rubbing his hands together. That crown is going to get me back in my rightful place. Uh, you lead the way this time. Hours later, you stand staring through the doorway of another vault. Uh, good luck, my friend, Lionel says, giving you a reassuring pat on the arm. Find the treasure chest with the crown in there. 
You pause for a moment wondering it or uh, wondering if that was the voice you heard echoing between the traps. Lionel gives you a helpful kick in the rear, sending you through the doorway. Alright, Lionel. Let's do this. Alright, what do we got this time? Okay, we got a spike trap right in front of us. Wow, that's a lot. Ow, I'm trying to move out of the way of that. Okay. Can I hide here, or...? Okay, there's a treasure chest. Ow. The stakes are definitely a little higher. But we got through that only taking a little bit of damage. Uh, outside you meet up with Mr. Lana. Well, you uh, Did you get it? He asks excitedly. Uh, quickly, you must have it. You hold the goblin crown, ugly wooden thing embedded with large gems for his inspection. The crown might take it home at last. Just as he reaches to take the crown, a trio of goblins appear from the treasure vault, one saying, I'm telling you, there's a human down here. Uh, the goblins stop dead and stare at you. Look, one of them screams, he's taken the king's crown. Um, you turn back to discover Mr. Lionel is nowhere to be seen. Stop thief, one of the goblin guards yells as another goblin blows his horn and magical portal appears. More goblins begin to arrive, uh, all yelling and pointing in your direction. Uh, get him, one yells, or yells one. Seize him, another. Um, you're the king's favorite. You seize him. You decide to leave before the increasing number of goblins bolster. Life. Shut up. God I damn it. Long uh, basically, we leave. Because they're just arguing. It is yours. You can take it. Thank you. Well, that was easy. Let's try this one. Oh, Devil's Carnival again. Frivolity is not my forte. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. All right. Some you wish you'd left untouched. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Large circus in town, just as last time. Uh, strange sights and smells. Peasants and nobles wander the street. Uh, let's see. The uh, place kind of dulls your senses. Alright, give me a success, or at least a success. I'd like a huge success. Eh? Success, that's fine. Uh, you drift along various stalls and booths, stopping whatever catches your eye. Uh, the mystery, the mysteries of the carnival await you. All right, here we go. Oh, I lost it. Fuck me. It's really, really hard to do that. Uh, draw one max health pain card. Uh, you are selected from the crowd to be tied to a wheel. The wheel begins to spin, and a blindfold molded man dressed in black proceeds to throw knives. Well. Eventually, he needs more. Or evidently he needs more practice. Damn it. I lose 10 more max health. This is going to be a challenge run at this point. Sometime later you find yourself standing on the edge of the forest and the town's gone. Damn it. That one's really hard to do. This is not looking good. Well, there's a shop at least. Uh, let's see... Traveling merchant, let's go to the shop and see if he's got anything good. I would like for him to have like a frost sword, but if I just had to buy food, then I just had to buy food. Uh, let's sell item first. We don't need this axe. What's more valuable? Eh, they're both about the same. Okay, buy item. What do you got? Now, what does this do? Success chance cards award gold. Uh, I don't know if that's really worth it at the moment. Uh, let's see. Fortune's Breath, we know. Every third encounter does not consume food. That might be an idea, to be honest. We can sell the old shield as well. Um, let's get this and sell the old shield. 
Okay. I would like to equip it. That will help you. Can't hurt. Uh, and we'll sell this old shield. And I would like to buy some food. Thirty dollars for ten food. That's a lot. But that's a lot of food, to be honest, for the price. Maybe we'll get lucky. Or maybe things will go horribly wrong. Who knows? Uh, and then we can't heal wounds. Nothing else to sell. All right, good. With any luck, we'll just find some more money and a frost sword, or maybe just find a frost sword. Hitch a ride. You know what? Better than trudging along a muddy road. We did get a little food, but fuck it, we're gonna leave. We don't have an explorer's cap. Uh, yeah, explorer's cap, so it's not worth what staying here. To play the game? Yeah, we've already talked about this. I know you will not a treasure chest. Like all the rest. Let's try and open it this time. While exploring the dungeon, you find the treasure chest. I will approach the treasure chest. Uh, right? Yes. Alright. Two success rolls. Okay. Uh, let's see. I approach the chest. Let us take a token on their foolishness. Alright. Attempt to open it. Three success rolls. I just need to dodge that failure. Oh, god damn it. That one? Okay. After a mighty heave, uh, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Oh, man. Thank you. Uh, the dealer draws four game cards and the card token's mine. 25 gold. Okay. 40 gold. 10 gold. 5 gold. I'll take them. Now, we need to find a second shop. And we got the coin, so I can take the treasure chest out. Okay, that'll do. Uh, I'd prefer a different shop, but this is fine. Maybe he'll have something interesting. I'm pretty sure I saw a miracle shop, and I saw something else in there when he first did it. Like a magical item shop, really. Okay, so what do we got? We have Consuming Shame. shame. That's good. Uh, we can get more gold. Let's see. Ring of Justice. Using a weapon's ability causes the player to f be fully healed. Uh, for the ring... Or, and the ring... Yeah, the ring's destroyed at the end of it. Uh, I should just take this thing out. I never plan on really using it. Shame is good. But mercenary, we haven't gotten yet, and it could be useful. Makes every single strop, strike drop gold. We could make our money back with that, probably. I kind of want to try it, but we could really use the damage, considering we're really low. And I could get both, I think. Hmm, let's get this. I mean, it's better to play safe at the moment with 75 health. Okay. Uh, we don't need any more food. We have nothing new to sell, correct? No, we're good. Alright. 54 should be more than enough to buy a frost sword if we come across one. Uh, noble trader. Wealth separates the highest from the lowest. Yep. And that is, in itself, a form of virtue. Alright. Uh, let's see. Notice you in stops. Sell your shield to the nobleman. Nah, uh, you can offer me gold for it. I'll decline. Uh, let's see. That's fine. I'd like to keep this. It's probably a good idea. Alright, draw a monster card. Oh, Jack of Plague. 